In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve first order linear differential equations. The standard form for a first order linear differential equation is y prime plus p of x y equal to q of x. Sometimes the given differential equation is not in the standard form. And so first you have to convert it to this standard form and then you can solve it. The first step in solving a first order linear differential equation is to find the integrating factor. But what is the integrating factor? The integrating factor is e to the power of integral of p of x dx. p of x is the function here is the coefficient of y. Note that in integrating p of x here, you should not include the constant c that usually we include when we do integration. So when you integrate p of x here, do not include the constant c. This is the integrating factor for a first order linear differential equation which usually we show it with mu of x. The next step, you can find the answer to the differential equation. Y solution of the differential equation is equal to one over the integrating factor, which you find it here, one over mu of x times by integral of mu of x times q of x dx plus c. So we include the constant c only here in our answer. So do not include constant c here. Only add c here and do not forget to add c. Here. It's very important to put plus c here. And this is the answer or the solution of the differential equation. Now let's do an example together. Our first example is y prime minus 2y equal to 5 e to the power of 3x. By comparing this given differential equation with the standard form, you can see that p of x here is negative 2 and q of x is 5 e to the power of 3x. The first step is to find the integrating factor. Mu of x equals to e to the power of integral of p of x which is negative 2 dx integral of negative 2 is negative 2x again i should mention do not include constant c here for your integral here just integrate the function and do not include the constant c so the integrating factor here is e to the negative 2x and now we can find the solution. y equals to 1 over integrating factor, 1 over mu of x, which is e to the negative 2x, times integral of mu of x, which is e to the negative 2x, times by q of x. q of x is 5 e to the 3x. So times by 5 e to the 3x dx plus c. Note that we can simplify this expression in the integral. e to the negative 2x times by 5 e to the power of 3x can be written as 5e to the power of, if we add the powers of e here, 
3x plus negative 2x is x. So e to the negative 2x times 5e to the 3x is 5e to the x. So this equals to 5e to the power of x. Now note that 1 over e to the negative 2x is e to the power of 2x. We can bring this from denominator to numerator and make the exponent make the power positive. So 1 over e to the negative 2x can be written as e to the 2x times by integral of 5e to the x dx plus c. For integrating 5 times e to the x dx, we can pull out 5 out of the integral. An integral of e to the x dx is e to the x. So this equals to e to the 2x times 5e to the x plus c. And so this is the solution of this given differential equation here. x y prime minus y equals to x squared e to the power of 2x. Note that this differential equation is not in the standard form. If you remember, in the standard form, the coefficient of y prime should be equal to 1. But here the coefficient of y prime is x. So first we have to convert this to the standard form. If we take a look at the standard form, the coefficient of y prime is 1. For converting the co this given differential equation to the standard form, First, we divide the left side and the right side of the equation by x to get rid of this x. If we divide this by x, we have to divide every term by x. Here, x and x cancels, and so we have y prime minus note that y over x is better to be written in the form of 1 over x y which equals to x2 and x cancels and 1x remains in top so we have x times e to the power of 2x now the differential equation is in the standard form so p of x here is negative 1 over x and q of x is x times e to the power of 2x the first step for solving this equation is to find the integrating factor if you remember the formula for integrating factor is e to the power of integral of p of x and p of x is negative 1 over x in this question so we have e to the power of integral of negative 1 over x dx let me remind you here that integral of 1 over x dx is ln of x so, integral of negative 1 over x dx is e to the power of negative ln of x. And this is the integrating factor. But, actually here, you can simplify this integrating factor. The property that can help us to simplify this expression is that e to the power of ln of any expression say that expression is f of x equals to f of x e to the power of ln of any expression equals 
to the same expression. But here we cannot use this property immediately because we have a negative here. First, we have to get rid of that negative. Remember that ln has this property that we can move this coefficient to the power of the expression, or if we have a power, we can bring it down. This is one of the properties of logarithmic functions in general. So here, we can move this coefficient negative one here to the power of x. So we can write e to the power of negative ln of x as e to the power of ln of x to the negative 1. And now, if we use this property, e to the power of ln of x to the negative 1 is x to the negative 1. And so this is the integrating factor in the simplified form. So why the solution, the answer of this given differential equation is 1 over, let me show you again the formula for y, y is 1 over mu of x, 1 over x to the negative 1, times by integral of mu of x, which is x to the negative 1, times by q of x. Don't use this as q of x. Note that q of x is x e to the 2x. When the equation is in the standard form, the expression in the right side is q of x, not this expression in the original equation. This is q of x, because this is the equation in the standard form. So q of x is x e to the power of 2x dx plus c. Don't forget to include this c here. Now, if we cancel x to the negative 1 here with x here, x times x to the negative 1 is actually 1. So we can write this as y equals to. Note that 1 over x to the negative 1 is x, because if we bring x to the negative 1, up it equals x to the 1 or x times y integral of e to the power of 2x because this is 1 only e to the 2x remains dx plus c which this equals to x times by integral of e to the 2x is 1 half e to the 2x plus c. Let me remind you these two formula from integral. Integral of e to the x, we know that it is e to the x. And more generally, integral of e to ax, which a is a number, e to the 3x, 4x, negative 2x, any number times x equals to 1 over a e to the ax plus c. And here we use this formula for integrating e to the 2x. Integral of e to the 2x is 1 over 2 e to the 2x. And because we have c here, there is no need to add another c. And this is the answer to this given differential equation. Let's do another example. The given differential equation is x dy over dx minus 2y equals 2x to the power of 4. Again, this given differential equation is not in the standard form. Note that a standard form is y prime plus a function of x like p of x times y equals q of x. Here, note that dy over dx is y prime, but coefficient of y prime, coefficient of dy over dx is x, 
but it should be one so the first step is to divide both side of this equation the left side and the right side of the equation by x to make coefficient of y prime equal one to get rid of x if we divide both sides of the equation by x in the left side we have dy over dx which we can write it as y prime because dy over dx is y prime derivative of the function minus 2 over x y we divide this by x and we have negative 2 over x y equals to 2 x to the power of 3 now the differential equation is in the standard form the first step is to find the integrating factor mu of x mu of x is e to the power of integral of p of x note that p of x is negative 2 over x and q of x is 2x to the power of 3 so e to the power of negative 2 over x dx integral of negative 2 over x dx integral of negative 2 over x dx is e to the power of negative 2 ln of x again note that integral of 1 over x is ln of x so integral of negative 2 over x dx is negative 2 ln of x and this is the integrating factor but similar to the previous question we can simplify this first we have to move the power of negative we have to move negative 2 to the power of x and so we have e to the power of ln of x to the negative 2 and e to ln of any expression equals that expression so e to the ln of x to the negative 2 is x to the negative 2 and this is the integrating factor now we can find the solution y equals to 1 over integrating factor which is x to the negative 2 times by integral of integrating factor x to the negative 2 times by q of x which is 2x to the 3 dx plus c if we multiply 2x to the 3 by x to the negative 2 it equals 2x and integral of x is x squared over 2 which if we multiply it by 2 it is x squared so integral of 2x is x squared so y equals if we move x to the negative 2 to the top we have x2 times integral of 2x dx is x2 plus c this is the answer or this is the solution general solution of this given differential equation let's do another example the given differential equation is x y minus 1 dx plus x squared dy equals 0. This given differential equation is not in the standard form. First, we have to try to convert and write this given differential equation in the standard form. So our idea is to convert this and write it in the form of y prime plus something in terms of x like p of x times y equal to q of x first we have to try to make y prime appear in this differential equation remember that y prime is actually dy over dx so first step is to divide both sides of this equation by dx because here we have dy if we divide this by dx then we have y prime so the first step is to divide 
this given equation by dx. If we divide this term by dx, we have xy minus 1 dx over dx plus x2 dy over dx equals 0. Note that dx and dx cancels here. So we have xy minus 1 plus dy over dx is y prime. So we have plus x squared y prime equals 0. For converting this equation to the standard form, we keep these two terms in the left and we move one to the other side. Note that we want to convert this to something in the form of y prime plus p of x y equals q of x. So the two terms that have y and y prime should be in the left and other things in the right. So we keep these two terms in the left and we move one to the right. So then we have x squared y prime plus x y equals 1. The last step is to make the coefficient of y prime equal 1 because in the standard form the coefficient of x squared is 1. So we have to divide the left side and the right side of equation by x squared. If we divide this expression by x squared we have y prime if we divide this by x squared, 1x from the top cancels with 1x from the bottom. And so we have only 1 over x, y. And in the right side, if we divide this by x squared, we have 1 over x squared. So finally, we converted this given differential equation to the standard form. Now we are ready to solve this first order linear differential equation. As usual, the first step is to find the integrating factor. Mu of x equals to e to the power of integral of p of x dx, which in this question p of x is 1 over x and q of x is 1 over x2. So integrating factor is e to the power of integral of 1 over x. We know that integral of 1 over x is ln of x. And e to ln of any expression equals to the same expression. e to the ln of x is x. So x is the integrating factor for this equation. And finally, y equals to 1 over integrating factor, which is x, times by integral of integrating factor, which is x, times by q of x, which is 1 over x2, q of x is 1 over x2, dx plus c x times 1 over x2 is 1 over x. So we have y equals 1 over x integral of 1 over x dx plus c. Integral of 1 over x is ln of x. So y equals to 1 over x ln of x plus c. So this is the solution to this differential equation. I hope by watching this video, you have learned how to solve the first order linear differential equations. If you like this video and you want to learn more about differential equations, please subscribe in my channel.